Earlier this week, I was consulting with my clairvoyant. She told me there was going to be a big change in employment arbitration. The next afternoon, when I was listening to the news on KBC around the start of the swing shift on the ranch, they said the U.S. Supreme Court had a case about employment arbitration. Goodness. You didn't hear about this, do you? Are you serious? Are you making fun of me because I'm using a clairvoyant? <laughs> no. Do you really think there'd be the latest case coming out by the California or the United States Supreme Court on employment law? And I wouldn't have read it. Does Epic Systems v. Ernst & Young, U.S. Supreme Court case number 16-285, and the companion case is 16-300-307, heard on a writ of certiorari. Certiorari. Certiorari, if you wish. Change anything? No, but... Why do you have these case numbers in your head? Even before Epic Systems, it was assumed that employees who signed binding arbitration agreements with their employers could not be part of class actions. The issue was whether the right to engage in concerted action like unionizing is ruined by a rule that you're going to go arbitrate. So when we come back, we're going to cover this United States Supreme Court case that made the news this week about employment arbitration on the Carl Gerber Workplace Lawyer Show. I'm a real attorney, Carl Gerber, speaking to Remus Helms, who operates a ranch with cosplay actors. She will be waiting when my lonely journey is done. A Wendy's Frosty is something special. And for a limited time, a Frosty is just 50 cents. An American classic for a classic price. It's not quite a milkshake, not quite an ice cream cone. It's definitely chocolate or vanilla. That choice is on you. Use a spoon or a french fry. Anything goes. A Frosty makes summer special. Yep, there's nothing quite like a Frosty. And there's nothing quite like this deal. A Frosty for 50 cents. Get yours before this deal melts away. Small Frosty only at participating Wendy's for a limited time. Price and participation may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Please give it up for the termite. Uh, so I was shedding my exoskeleton the other day. Realized the blinds were open. That's embarrassing. Anyone here tonight from the Kalo Termitidae species? No? No? That's too bad. Because all of my next jokes are drywood related. <sighs> Termites aren't funny. Five billion dollars of damage each year is nothing to laugh at. Visit Orkin.com to schedule an inspection and get 15% off. Everyone talks about decluttering, but no one really does it because it's a lot of work. There are a million things you'd rather do than packing and schlepping your things into a storage space, especially when it's heating up outside. So don't. Make space is a whole new way to store your things. And get this, it's even less than the price of traditional self-storage. Their team of professional movers come to you with free packing supplies, pack up whatever you want, and move it into safe and secure storage. You don't even have to remember what you packed because you can see photos of what you stored through their personalized app and then request items back with a push of a button. Thousands of people are using MakeSpace in Los Angeles, and so can you. Book before May 30th, and MakeSpace will give you $100 off your first month at MakeSpace.com slash save. That's MakeSpace.com slash save to get $100 off your first month. MakeSpace.com slash save. The Employment Lawyers Group is a results-driven law firm whose goal is to get the right result for the client. They have represented employees with a high rate of success since 1993 throughout the state of California. They're only paid and if they are able to collect money from the employer so there's not any upfront fees or costs in order to hire them. They have represented thousands of employees who've been terminated from their jobs, sexually harassed, subjected to employment discrimination, or are owed wages in an individualized or group basis such as a class action. Call 877-525 0700. That's 877 They have operators standing by. They can also be reached at EmployeeLawCA.com. They have offices throughout Southern California. Hire them and make your workplace problem theirs to solve. Take this job and shove it. 
Talk Radio 790 KBC. You're listening to Carl Gerber, workplace lawyer, heard on this station and Sunday nights, 7 to 8 o'clock. We've been talking about an employment law checkup for a business owner. This is Memorial Day weekend. I did want to say that if you are a member of the armed services and you're fired from your job for having to take leave for the military, that can be wrongful termination. And in terms of the cases that I feel employers are the most nasty about and least understanding, it's probably leave for people in the military and religion. With that said, we're going to talk to Remus Helmsmore, who's sort of a fictional character, owning a business, getting an employment law checkup. He raised the issue with me before we broke about a new case called Epic Systems from the United States Supreme Court. He seems to know all the companion case numbers. Kind of weird. And the case has decided that if you sign an arbitration agreement with your employer, which 54% of all employees do in this country, they cannot have a class action. And this also has implications for for unions because the the thought had been that it was concerted activity that you cannot be blocked and you can't block a class action on concerted activity. So getting back to this discussion with Remus Helms here, I, I guess you should continue, Remus. Well, I always like the idea of having my employees bring a class A class in action against me. Why? You want to be sued? Oh, that's what it means. Just thought it sounded good. Yeah, class action is when a bunch of employees get together and bring a lawsuit, or one person brings it on behalf of a hundred thousand. So on the last show, you can hear it on YouTube or WorkplaceLawyer.org. I was told that your robot, your robot, told me humanoid takes care of the human resource issues on your ranch for the non-human, dead, undead, unborn, slave, master, and superheroes. Is this guy humanoid trained on human resources? Hell no. <laughs> I have serious concerns about your ability to enforce all the California and federal labor laws of humanoid is not even trained in human relations. We have arbitration. You have cosplay actors who are dressed as arbitrators? No. The Scrimgeours made some beautiful arbitration agreements for the workers on the ranch. Can I see your arbitration agreement? Oh, thank you, Remus. This Wow, this is a really impressive document, really nice penmanship here, nice calligraphy. You know, my grandfather was a famous calligrapher, and he used to put little symbols of, like, animals and things in the letters, but <laughs> the symbols here, oh, that's, uh, I can't say what that symbol is on the air. That's really disgusting. It's is that what you claim was infringed? It's not to scale. Oh, I wouldn't expect it to be, but notwithstanding that, the scroll is a couple feet long. Actually, that's the branding we put on the ostriches. It's the trademark of the RAND. Oh, of course. That that makes a lot of sense. Can we talk about the terms of your arbitration agreement? It it specifies only a retired Supreme Court justice can arbitrate your employment disputes. There's something wrong with that. Well, besides the fact there are not too many retired Supreme Court justices around, the arbitration agreement requires they only wear a minotaur headpiece when they're arbitrating. How else is the arbitrator supposed to keep order? If you're employees, you do have a point. So you agree. I'm just not sure a retired Supreme Court justice would be interested in wearing a minotaur headpiece to arbitrate a dispute between cosplay actors. Now remember, Mr. Gerber, my hairstylist, too, and the driver, and... Yeah, even a retired Supreme Court justice um, who might arbitrate with a, a minotaur thing, um, maybe you're going to find one. I don't know, but there's a clause in here that the arbitrator has to be older than you. That is yet another hurdle in finding someone to actually arbitrate your dispute. I just wanted somebody I'd respect. I suppose the minotaur heads piece would add a lot of credibility to the arbitrator? Well, certainly. Don't you think that an active sitting judge in a public courtroom who hears cases every day and has a research attorney to figure out the law or maybe a jury if you're a peer as well, that might be a problem in your case. Don't you think those folks would be better than a retired Supreme Court justice older than you wearing a, a minotaur's head piece during an arbitration? No, I wouldn't expect the arbitrator to be up to date on the law. That's why the agreement has a choice of law provision. The arbitrator is only supposed to enforce the laws that existed in 1976 when I made the San Fernando Valley my uh, yeah, yeah. Courts are not supposed to be enforcing absurd terms. Um, there are quite a few on this arbitration agreement that you expect your employees to abide by. I thought every deference would be given to arbitrating. 
Audience, there is a way to get rid of employment arbitration. You know, it's the Congress and the Senate. They could outlaw it because it's all based on a 1925 idea about commercial parties arbitrating. doesn't work very well in employment law to have one person who is usually a certain type of person because they're a retired judge or a lawyer that is done with their career. Lots of men, too, deciding a case. Mr. Gerber. I heard arbitration might be fun because it's arbitrary, and the arbitrator doesn't have to enforce the law. <laughs> You're right. The arbitrator is not bound by the law, and this is real. This is not a joke. I'm not sure it's supposed to be arbitrary, though. I just sort of like the idea of one really old guy with a minotaur headpiece making a decision. It might just be wrong because there's no way of appealing the decision. <laughs> I could have to pay millions of dollars because the arbitrator got it all wrong. Or maybe his vagar didn't work the night before. Or he thinks it would be funny to rip me a new one. Or I already have it ripped for me. <laughs> it's a really bad business decision here to have this arbitration you're considering for your employees. Uh, should I get the stompers to do their thing on the arbitration parchments? Forthwith.